www.animalcruelty.com. Well, officials are calling it animal cruelty. Dozens of dogs and cats found living outside in the scorching heat and filthy conditions. Yeah, now the Mobile County Animal Shelter and the Animal Rescue Foundation are asking for donations to help care for the animals they seized from the Safe Haven Animal Care Kennel in Sims. It's otherwise known as the Shack. Local 15's Christian Jennings is following the story for us tonight. Christian, the district attorney, will have to decide whether to press charges here. That's right. It's now in the DA's hands. County investigators say the conditions at the shack were unacceptable and unsafe. But the shack's owner says she was doing the best she could with the resources she had and always has the animal's best interests at heart. About a year and a half ago, Robbie Fitzgerald opened the shack. We take in dogs that have been abused, dogs that are on the euthanasia, you know, the last day at the shelter when they're saying, you know, we got two hours left, I'll bring them in. Today, the cages and shacks on the property are empty after the Mobile County Animal Shelter seized 63 dogs and cats. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about these animals. And, uh, you know, I don't do what I do to have them go back to the shelter. And uh, I just want them to find good homes. There are situations where folks think they're doing the right thing and sometimes they get overwhelmed. Officials say nearly all the animals have ringworm, fleas, ticks, and other medical conditions that weren't being treated properly. There's no facilities. The dogs are exposed to the weather elements at all times. If it's 90 degrees, you know, I mean, they're exposed to that. The county's investigation began in June after two dogs died from heat stroke inside this shed after an AC unit went out. They were stacked in kennels on top of each other inside this room. Uh, there was 18 of them and all 18 were suffering from heat exhaustion. Then on Sunday, a dog died after another dog attacked it. Fitzgerald says watching the county take away the animals she spends at least 12 hours a day caring for was more than she could bear. One of the dogs Yesterday she had tears streaming. It's, it's very hard. One, a lot of the animals we have are not exactly what every home's looking for. Sorry. The animals cannot be adopted out right now pending the court case, but they are safe and enjoying air conditioning. Kim.